I quite enjoy designing machine language routines on paper and then hand assembling them. For many people this would have been their only option until they got a more advanced machine language monitor or an assembler. So I want to show how we can design a little routine, uh, how to approach this and how to enter these programs on the fix. As an example I'm going to show how to create a routine that cycles through the various green border and background colour combinations by changing the value of, um, of a location hex 900F. To uh, create this program, or at least one of the easiest ways of hand assembling programs, is to first create the program on a coding sheet. So you can see here we have a blank coding sheet. And then we go through and create our program. So we um, enter the mnemonics, uh, the operands, the comments and the labels to create our program in much the same way as we would set out uh, source code if we were um, using an assembler. So we set this out and then once we've crafted our program uh, we then need to, to translate the, uh, the mnemonics and operands into a machine code. So we would use a um, machine code lookup table uh, like the one you can see here and then we go from the mnemonic on the left hand side uh, say for example LDA and then we want to look for an absolute address and that gives us AD and then we enter the operand so 0F90 and then we run through for each mnemonic uh, or at least for each line of assembler we enter the machine code for it and then once we've done that we can fill out the addresses. Now for this example I'm going to store this little routine in location uh, starting at location 02A1 hex uh, because there's a bit of free space here from 02A1 to 02FF which is reserved for user program indirects. So it's a nice little area that won't get corrupted uh, better in some respects than the often used area, uh, the um, a cassette tape buffer, which is okay, but as I'm going to want to save to tape, it may not be the best location to use. So once we've gone through and we've hand um, translated each of the uh, assembly code statements into machine code and recorded the addresses alongside, then we'll, ha we'll be left with a, a set of machine code. Uh, now we can then enter this machine code uh, into our VIC in a couple of different ways. One of the easiest ways to enter a routine into memory is to convert the machine code to decimal and then to poke it. Now, this works quite well for a, a short program or a short machine code routine, but the data statements do take up quite a lot of memory, and sometimes it's better to put the routines directly into memory and then load it separately. So we'll create this little basic program to load the routine that we've created. And then was the, um, the machine code routine in its decimal form is stored in these data statements here. The location above 673 is the decimal equivalent of 0281 hex that we used on the coding form. Right, and there we are. So if I run that program now, and if I sys2673, and you can see that it's cycled through the various colours. I can add to this program, so I can create another routine at 200, which says 4i equals 1 to 10, 210, sys673. I, and if I run at 200, it would repeatedly call 
our machine language routine at 673 if we call it 10 times. So I'll just do that one more time. And there we are. So we found a nice easy way of loading a machine language routine into memory and then being able to run it. Another easy way of entering the machine code is to use a simple hex loader. So I've reset the VIC-20 and uh, I'll enter the hex loader program which is a small basic program based on one uh, from the uh, from a VIC-20 machine code by Bruce Smith. The uh, code for this hex loader as well as other information uh, about uh, about hand assembling to machine code on the Commodore VIC-20 is all in the associated uh, accompanying article. So do have a look at that once you've finished watching the video. Now for now I'll enter the basic program. The yeah, hex machine loader that is. So this program will allow us to enter each hex code at a time and it'll poke it directly into memory. And then when we want to stop entering code, we'll press S and that'll stop the program. There we are, so that's the program entered. I'll run the program. We'll load the machine code at location 673 again. Right, run that again, 673. And then we just go through and enter the hex digits of the machine code. Okay, so that was nice and easy, and certainly much easier than having to convert the machine code to decimal first. Then we press S to stop, and then we can sys673 as we have done previously, and there we are. That was that. Uh, so that's done the routine, and if I do the similar thing as I did with the previous uh, basic data statements, this little program to run the, machi run the machine language routine 10 times. And there we are, and that's worked again. So you can see how we can program machine code routines on the Commodore VIC-20, uh, even without having a fully fledged assembler or machine code monitor. Uh, do have a look at the accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website and uh, have a look at our other videos on the Tech Tinkering YouTube and uh, please subscribe.